Us tomorrow, please welcome the lovely Salma Hayek. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you. You look very lovely. Much. I have to say, I was watching, you know, the Oscar pre-show the other day, and you, uh, they, they cut to a shot of you, and I jumped out of my chair. You looked so gorgeous. <laughs> Honestly, we have, a, I think we have a photo of you. Absolutely well, I kind of beautiful. Loved it. I, I would have loved to see the, the photo of you jumping out of your chair. Really? Yeah. It's really not as exciting as that no. photo. <laughs> it's me going ah. <laughs> it's really not a good photo. But you look very, very lovely. And did you spend a lot of time picking that dress? Because people talk about how their Oscar dress, they slave over it, they worry about it, they go to 50,000 stores. Oh, well, uh, it is stressful, but because I was promoting something else right. overseas, and then uh, I barely had time. I was out of town. So. Right. And then I was promoting as the doll, so I right. only had like a, like a four days. To I think that's I think that's better because I think a lot of these people overthink it, and then they you know, they have like a three months to think of what will my Oscar dress what? be, what? and then they show up and they're wrapped in like toilet paper and they're wearing <laughs> goggles and they look like freaks. But you know, there's, there there is a theory that the the earlier you start the process, the better dresses that you get. By the time you, you know. At the end, right. you get the leftovers or something. You know, right. there is that theory, but... Well, that wasn't from Sears, I don't think. That was yeah. a nice... <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, you, you, for this movie that you're promoting now, Ask the Dust, you, you gained weight for this role. Yes. And I have to say, you're an amazing advertisement for gaining weight, because you look fantastic. <laughs> I'm glad because there's too many skinny people now. I think there are, yeah. Too many, I think too, obviously too many of the women today are worried about being thin. And uh, how much weight did you gain for the role? I don't know, about 12 pounds. Right, right. I mean, I, it's just because I had done a movie where I was pretty slim and mm -hmm. fit. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was a, a waitress mm -hmm. that uh, it takes place in 1930s. And it, I didn't have to gain the weight, but I envisioned that you know, she had a little bit more meat around the bones. Right. And, um, it, Well, it, I think that's a, a good point. Because yes. some, sometimes people make these period pieces and you can tell that they've been using they've been, the abdominizer yes, yes. and they've been doing Pilates. Right. And, you know, they're, they're playing someone in like 16, 12. And you're like, what are you doing? It doesn't look right. I thought there was something soft and vulnerable about being a little bit more rounded as a woman. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it was more appropriate for the time. It was also a lot of fun because then you just... I ate everything I ate, but more. Right. <laughs> That's nice. I've always envied actors who need to gain weight for a role. I've always thought that would be the most fun thing in the world, to ostensibly get a job where they say you've got to gain 15 pounds, 20 pounds, I don't care how you do it, and you can go and just eat whatever you want. But 10 pounds is not that hard to get. It's yeah. like when somebody gets 30 pounds, you know? Right, right. That's really fun. Then it's... <laughs> <laughs> That's just you fill your room with caramel corn and eat your way out. <laughs> What were, you eat, what, were you, what were you eating specifically to, to get, like, what's the best thing that you, what did you enjoy most about gaining the weight? What was the most fun thing to eat a lot I mean, of? I didn't become obsessed with it. I just right. gave myself permission to right. indulge right. for a while, That's you great. know, in food. Um, there was, we shot this in Cape Town, South Africa. Right. And there was a place called Royal that had the best hamburgers mm -hmm. in the world, better than in America. Now, and, wait a minute. Oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> Don't mess with that. America and our hamburgers. I'm sorry. Somebody beat you to it. Well, you we'll know? see. I'll have to South fly there Africa, tonight and sample this hamburger. You should. And they have these uh, fantastic milkshakes, and they had one with chocolate and milk. No, chocolate and mint. <laughs> I was going to say, I think we got that beat. I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm being an ass. Yeah. Chocolate and mint. Chocolate and mint. Wow, that sounds good. Milkshake. Delicious. Yeah. yeah. This sounds mm. like good stuff. Yeah. Now, I want to ask you, there's a scene that every, a lot of people are talking about. It's, it, it's, a, it's a nude scene, and people are accustomed to seeing nude scenes in films, but this one's very different. It's a nude scene, you, uh, Colin Farrell, both of you naked, and you're in the ocean. And I'm told this was a... An outside of the ocean. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And this was a... First of all, you were, were you nervous doing that scene? Were you, you know, with Colin Farrell? Oh, no, I, I was not nervous about Colin. I was nervous first because where we were going to shoot this scene, a week before we were supposed to shoot it, uh, a person got her, the, the leg eaten by a white shark. Oh, God. So when... when 
that's I, that's I, the end for me. I mean, I don't. <laughs> there's no getting me into the water. I mean, I like, know. well, that was a week ago. So, so Colin, yeah, Colin was 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 not a concern at this point. You know, it right. was the shark, and then we changed locations, and it was a controlled environment, whatever. But it right. was really cold, so uh, I was. It's always not like the best freezing thing to cold be naked water and on, yeah. on top of it, you know, yeah. in front of people, and then on top of it, it was freezing cold. So they had to take our temperature because there was, you know, we, we could get hypothermia, and you know, we had to drink special things, and then off you go and pretend to be free spirited and enjoying yourself, and you're freezing, and your bones are about to break from the coldness. Of also, it. speaking as a man, if I ever have a nude scene, it's not going to be in freezing cold water. <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Moving on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds to me like you really had to have, I mean, it took a lot of, it's just bravery. I mean, you just run in there and, and, and water that freezing and cold and... And be naked and yeah. for everybody. Yeah, yeah, but I watched the scene, actually, uh, many times, and... Uh, <laughs> but you, don't, you can't tell that, I mean, you're just both of you, you could never tell. You feel like you guys are just having a good time. You know, you know what I mean? You don't pick up on that. We're good great. actors. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Now, I know, speaking of, uh, of good actors, I know that you are very good, uh, close friends with Penelope Cruz. That's you two right. are very good friends, and that when you two get together, you, as a lot of good friends do, you get, you get silly sometimes. Oh, yeah. And you like to really most do... Most of the time. Most of the time. You, it's sort of like you get together, and we all have friends like this. What's, what, what are the kind of silly things that you're doing with Penelope? Oh, God. <laughs> there's, there's so many. I, mean, she, I think she's the one that told... We, we start competing about who can dance the worst. Oh, really? <laughs> who can dance the worst? Who can make the silliest dance, the most ridiculous moves, completely against rhythm. Right. And it's an art. It's not easy. <laughs> not, not when you're Latin and naturally you have, you know, right. some... Yeah, right. <laughs> you, you have to fight your natural... Yeah, yeah. You have yeah. to fight your natural instinct. You realize you're speaking to the champ right here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how far you two go, if I ever blow into town and the music stops and I start to go, you know, I'm going to uh, win, hands down. I don't down. know, we might shock you. We've been stu you know, sometimes we study you for background. <laughs> the green thing you do here, um... The string dance. Your string dance. You've, yeah, yeah. You, I, I love the, the concept of these two beautiful, act talented actresses copying the string dance. Yes. That's terrible. Have you ever... <laughs> don't have do you that. ever face danced? Have I ever face danced? Yeah. What is that? No. I don't well, think so. you don't move anything in your body. <laughs> we don't really see things. <laughs> but uh, you just uh, dance with your face. No. <laughs> I think I could do that. Okay, let maybe. Max, can you play us anything? Go. I don't care, anything. Get in really tight here. Go. Faster, faster. Let's go, crank go. it up. Go. Anyway, I just had, I just had. Yeah. It's fun, isn't it? It's fun, and I just had a small stroke. Uh, <laughs> that's all right. Take a few aspirin tonight, I'll be all right. We have, <laughs> I'll get you for that. Uh, we have a clip here from, from Ask the Dust. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and to set this up, this is a period piece, as it you is, said, and it yeah. takes place in it's it Los Angeles. Los Angeles, 1930, where, you know, it was like the peak of racism. I mean, mm -hmm. it was really bad. And not, not just for Mexicans, but also for Italians. Mm -hmm. And uh, my character, you know, she has small dreams. All she wants in life is a green card and a little bit of love. Mm -hmm. And, she, you know, she wants to marry an American guy so that her children don't have to go through racism. Mm -hmm. But she's sort of falling for this Italian and it really bugs her. And at this point in the movie, she's considering the possibility. Okay. Like maybe she goes for the Italian. All right, let's take a look at this clip from Ask the Dust. I know you like the palm of my hand, Arturo, and I'm telling you, you Right after Sammy would. Would he do that? Would Sammy ask you to marry him? Who knows what Sammy's gonna do? Would Sammy Wyatt ask Camilla Lopez to be his wife? Who knows and who cares? You do. I know you like the back of my hand, Camilla. I thought it was... Different class. I thought it was before when I said, uh, would you... What, what is it? Would you change your name? 
or something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, and he goes, what? Yes, I wouldn't want to go from Lopez to Bandini. It's not that much of an improvement, you know. <laughs> and he hasn't even thought about marrying this right, woman. Right, right, right. I thought it was that far. That's what right. And the director, Robert Town. Right. Yeah, which is amazing. Amazing. A yeah, fantastic he... writer and a wonderful director. Sure, a classic. Yes. Uh, Ask the Dust opens tomorrow in select cities. And we can't thank you enough for stopping by. Thank Thanks you. for being here. Salma Hayek, everybody. <laughs> Eric Bauschel, come up to be right back. Take a look.